Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And once in a while, I like to go on Steam because it's the biggest library of what is this crap that I can find. And I like to search the terms drag racing just to see what I find. So today I did it, and to my surprise, there is a new game on Steam called Drag Racing Chaos One More Run. Pretty cool. Not going to lie. The controls are a little bit confusing. I'm sure I could, you know, there is the ability to customize the controls, though, which very much helps. I would definitely like to convert things to arrow keys rather than WASD and space and control and shift. Um, but it's, I see what they're going for. So real quick, let's look at the store page. He used Wondershare Filmora. Um, we're going to go with the photos because I don't want to look at their watermark that they didn't pay for Wondershare. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the game that you can kind of mess with. It, it's a little bit of a stubby car, though. I don't understand why it kind of looks like a car town car. The dimensions are just a little bit off. That's not a big deal. Interesting looking car. That's got to be an experimental but yeah, so far it I see what they're going for. It might be something very cool in the end. But uh without, you know, much more talking. I have the game up and running because they have uh oh yeah, I should show you. They have ability to enter a, an early access playtest and you can actually try out the game as beta updates come out, which is pretty cool. So I'm playing it low settings, uh, 1080p, because my computer did not like this at higher graphic settings. I definitely need a new GPU. There's, you know, the options profile. Statistics seems more like um, statistics seems more like a leaderboard, which is really cool that they have actual known racetracks like Mid Ohio and Indiana Raceway, Beaver Springs. Uh, there's one in uh, Pennsylvania or something like that. Very cool. Um, there's change camera, change car. There's a whole bunch of cars in this game. There's dragsters. Nostalgia body, which looks sweet. Bracket body. Oh, that is sick. Uh, there's funny cars. Big body funny car. Nostalgia bodied funny car. The loading screens are definitely... Uh, need some work but that's okay alcohol small pump nitro or big pump nitro depending on how you want to do it pretty cool so that's the stubby looking one that's okay all bodies altered is this that weird looking one? Oh, that no this is that coupe that thing looks sick then there's door slammers there's pro modified and stock bodied this is sick i love it that looks really cool Row modified and stock bodied. Stock bodied. Load faster. Uh, it crashed. Ah, okay. Now I just had to find a Camaro. Oh, there's different cars. <gasps> cool. Uh, hey, that's totally Doc. <laughs> Gotta just add the taxi decals, and it's uh, I think his name. Is, no, it's not Doc. Crap. What's his name? Um. Uh, I suck at names and someone's going to crucify me for calling him Doc. I know it's not Doc. Uh, whatever. Some cool cars in here. I would love to see some newer stuff. I want to paint this like one that drives around near me. There's a yellow one that drives around near me that's got a full custom tube chassis. Uh, big tires in the back. It's got a nitrous setup. It's freaking sick. Uh... Stock or super stock, pretty cool. And exhibition, what is exhibition? Is this that weird car? Where's that weird one? This thing has like four engines on it. What the hell? Altereds? The only one here. But yeah, uh, anyway, we're gonna go with like a door slammers car because I tried driving something. Um, I tried driving a TFD. What? Did not go well. Uh, that camera is a little... Yeah. Okay, one sec. 
I love getting interrupted every time I want to make a video. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the game because I don't remember where I am. There are a lot of controls to this game. I actually had to open up Notepad just to mark them down so I remembered what they were. Uh, if you go under controls, you can see there's a lot of what you can things you can do. There's steering, throttle, brake, start, stop. So basically starting the engine. Gear up, gear down, trans brake, line lock, parachutes, and then open options for the, you know, menu to exit a race. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. There's, you know, engine combos. There's the super stock, stock. Uh, low to medium horsepower. I can't click anything there. Let's see what tuning is in here. Nose weight, tire pressure. Pretty cool. There's your gear ratios. We know I love having fun with gear ratios. There's launch RPM. That is sick. Let's set it to 4,000 flat. Uh, shift light RPM is 7,500. Cool. Uh, spring rebounds. Sick. I'll apply and save. Because that's all I really need. Oh, you can save your tune. Test. Save. Cool. Um, I guess that's what save means. I'm kind of an idiot. Sorry. Customize. There's no customize for this. I've seen... There's pictures showing how to customize a car, but oh well. Uh, let's do a test run. We'll do it here at Mid Ohio. Heads up lane. We're gonna do a sportsman tree. Uh, pro prep, match race prep, no prep. Cool. Heads up, left lane. What lane you want? You can change all the weather options, which is really cool. Let's do it. So I'm gonna mute my mic real quick. And I'm going to turn on the volume for the game so you guys can hear it. Well, that was fun. I hope my recording's not laggy because OBS is acting kind of a fool. Uh, come on, OBS. Are you doing something? OBS is acting a real fool. Anyway, that didn't go very well. Um, I see what they're trying to do with the game. It needs a lot of work. But... Let's give a look at the game files and see what we can find. So I'm going to quit race and hope that uh, OBS starts acting normal again. I just want to look at the game files because that's what I do in all these videos. Eventually is game files. It's fun for me. I'm going to browse local files and see how they made this. There's just a... Okay, <laughs> to release folder. 
Uh, okay. Uh, mono, bleeding edge, data, managed, assembly C sharp. Okay, the regular DLLs are here. That's pretty cool. So modability is there for whenever that may get added. There's debug information for the developer. Pretty cool. Is what I at least guess that's for. Mono bleeding edge stuff. It seems like your standard Unity 3D game. Um, I can see what they're going for. I think it has potential, but I'm not sure how long until it starts to feel really good. It definitely still needs some optimization too. I'm on low graphics settings, uh, playing at 1080p, and it is making my computer scream. And the graphics realistically aren't even that crazy. So, eh, let me know what you guys think about the game in the description down or the comments down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.